In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the newest update that comes to Paladins, and this is actually a little old. This update has been in Paladins for four or five days, maybe a week now, I'm not sure, but I'm still going to get the video out if anyone hasn't seen it or hasn't been on Paladins. They are making some tweaks to how they're going to do patches from now on, and this is update 1.0b. Um, I guess they're considering the initial release of Paladins 1.0a, and I guess this is some tweaks to it, so I'm not quite sure, but... We have a new Ur Frontier. Um, so welcome to the 1.0b update. With launch comes some changes to our update cycle, and this is what I was talking about. I guess this is the main reason they're doing this. <clears throat> Paladin's major content updates will now be bigger and better than before. Content updates will include new champions, events, or other large features in every single update, and these major content updates will occur every six weeks, so they're no longer... Um, actually, what was their, I think their patch cycle was like once a month, right? I'm not quite sure. I know um, Smite does it every two weeks, um, and they switch theirs to Friday. So every month and a half, they're going to do a major content update. However, they're going to have smaller updates in between. You can see here, in between these updates, Paladins will release smaller updates that focus on balance, polish, and fixing outstanding bugs, like this release. So this is considered a small one. Maybe that's what it's going to be. So maybe we'll have like 1.0c. 1.0d um, and then we'll have like 2.0 or 1.1 or something like that so maybe that's how it's going to be um, our 1.0b patch introduces the awaited battle pass challenges which we will go over new loading screen splash art skins from another galaxy frontline focus balance and a plethora of bug fixes so here we're going to get into it battle pass challenges are introduced there's different tiers based on your leveling tier so like the first page is levels one through 10, I believe. And then you go to the next page, it's levels like two through 19. That first page is tier one, second page is tier two, that's how you do it. So once you get to the second page, you unlock the second tier battle pass. So tier one challenges, um, rewards 200,000 battle pass experiences, tier two, 400,000, 600,000, 800,000, and then 1 million. And then you unlock the legendary title, Gearhead. Now the challenges are pretty easy um i remember i'm on tier one i've completed tier one i have to get to tier two tier one includes like deal seventy thousand damage in one game heal for sixty thousand in one game um it's simple stuff like that not easy stuff but stuff that you should be able to do in a game or two if you really put your mind to it i'm assuming they get harder going forward though loading screen splash arts add a new splash Art for the following, get Cassie, Eevee, Drogos, Ruckus, and Zinn. Uh, you can now rotate preview models in the loadout scene as well as the battle pass scene. Ah, I haven't even messed with that yet. That's one thing I always hate in any game when I go to like turn the character model and it just doesn't turn. I hate it, so hey, small changes help. <laughs> um, customization. So this is two new skins coming. The Galaxy Chest makes its return with the new additions. We have Mercenary Strix uh, and Galactic Skyon Leon. Now these are very star wars themed um at least that's what i get from it maybe it's like star trek or something else i i don't know the only thing i've ever seen is star wars and that screams star wars to me so oh yeah it even says in a paladin's realm far far away okay so this is star wars <laughs> unlocked inside the galaxy chest these two skins obviously um the other galaxy chest includes these awesome skins we have the dark or star slayer ruckus dark lord torvald dune crawler cassie Ebon Star Zin, Nova Strike Kinesa, Replicant Ying, and V1 Kator Victor. So they all have, they're all epic, and then they even have a legendary skin in there. So if you want to roll for one of these two skins, odds are you're going to get a pretty cool skin, nevertheless. We also have Covert Ops Lex, which is in their mobile game Paladin's Strike. You unlock it by acquiring or buying 1500 crystals in Paladin Strike after you link your Hyra's account, so make sure to do that first. Please note that crystals received before linking an account will be excluded from your progress. Paladin Strike is literally just Paladins on mobile. So if you're interested in that, um, fixed a bug where there's no fog in TDM. Now we have some champion updates. And these are, for the most part, frontline focused, which I love because I'm a frontliner. Um, but I will just get into the changes. I'm not going to say anything yet. Ash getting some updates. Ash is my least favorite champion in Paladins, and it's not even close. I just don't like playing her. I don't have fun. I, I was excited about these changes, and I was like, let me go give her a shot. She's better, and I do better with her, but I just don't, I still don't like her. It's just her kit. I just, I don't know. She's not my champion, but we get an increased damage uh, from her assert. Dominance, you speed 350 is now up to 600. 
hundred, so huge boost there, and it also increased her max travel distance. Shoulder Bash reduced the cooldown by two seconds, and then Slug Shot has a 50% increased range all the way up to 100%. So she got buffed like crazy, and I still dislike her. Um, Buck gets a nerf here. I'm guessing, yeah, okay, it's a nerf. Reduce the scaling on his concussion. Used to be 1.5, is now down, or used to be 1.5, 1.5 is now 1, 1. Sorry, I'm, the way they do these is so confusing how they have the dash there. I get it, but it's confusing when you're actually saying it out loud. Safe travel for Fernando. Reduce the shield scaling. Used to be 250, now down to 150. And the duration is down from 5 seconds to 2 seconds. His last stand... Uh, reduce the health threshold from 50% to 40%. I like Fernando. Uh, these changes didn't hurt him too much. He's still good. Obviously, he's not as strong. I have played Fernando recently. I still love him. Uh, still fun. And Nara, Earthen Guard, reduced increased healing from 60% to 40%. And then Stolen Bulwark reduced the heal. It used to be 30, is now 25. I haven't messed with the Nara since these changes, so I'm not sure. Um, Khan, I have played since the changes, and he's okay now on his release he was super fun to play but he just did no damage he had a nice utility kit no damage got buffed a little bit did more damage he got buffed again here and he's decent still super fun to play though you look at someone like ash who i think is in my opinion heads and shoulders a better than khan but i have more fun with khan therefore i do better with khan with paladins as long as you're having fun with the champion just play them man um but his battle shout gets increased his heal used to be 800 is now a thousand and that's the biggest change because there's really never a time where you don't get full health from it unless you're super super low but i rarely had that issue when i played with him overpower gets increased damage used to be 500 is now 600 and it also has an increased charge rate his commander's grab also gets an increased damage from 400 to 600 Vigorous Defense increases the HPS scaling, used to be 10, 10 is now 25, and then Hulking Strike also increase Hulking Strength, sorry, increases scaling, used to be 0.5, is now 0.6. So, I'm just going to read what they say here. So, after analyzing Khan's release, we have made numerous changes to bring him more in line with the Frontliners. Commando's Grab acts as Khan's non, only non-ultimate damaging ability. I guess it does, wow, I didn't even think of that. And his only movement ability, this increased damage, and I'll make hitting this ability feel more rewarding. Um, Kami's, yeah, so I get that. I didn't even really think of that, that, yeah, that this is only a damaging ability. Um, you do, I would say out of all of these, except for the heal, Commander's Grab is the most noticeable thing. Because before, it used to just tickle them when you would grab. Yeah, it was a good CC, and it kind of set up your teammates. But if they weren't in position to capitalize on that, or they just weren't capable of capitalizing on it, you used your only damaging ability and it didn't really do much. Now it doesn't tickle. It, it, it packs a little punch. Um, and then obviously your teammates can follow up and finish off the rest. Kinesa, sniper mode, increase the zoom. Small change, but phenomenal change. I've been having a lot of fun with Kinesa recently. And then Ruckus, his base health gets reduced from 4,500 to 4,000. Um, and then we have some bug fixes here. Wow, we have a lot. I'm not going to go over all of them, but I will leave this here. You can pause it if you want to read them yourself. Um, we also have some con or console specific bug fixes, and then we have some under investigation ones. So there's a known crash uh, on the Georgia Peach logo. Alt tab while in full screen can cause wait can cause a client crash. Known in max in match texture loading error, and then okay. So those are only bugs that are in there right now. Nothing too big, although one of them, the Peach logo crashing. I haven't had that yet. Now I'm scared to load up Paladins because I feel like I'm going to, but. That is going to wrap it up for this one, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. Hit subscribe if you already haven't. Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat is down in the description. Like I said, I will link this down there as well if you were to read it yourself. And that is going to wrap it up for this one. Until next time, thank you for watching.